Hello YouTube, it's me again. This is another rant. I'm going to go a few places. Uh, it's not scripted. I don't have a specific agenda. I just want to vent. It was very good for me the other day to do so. And I'm thinking that I may do it a little bit more than I have in the past. Uh, I've been going back and forth with uh, this guy named uh, Black Power. Uh, he decided to white knight for I think this girl named Kayla Strawberry. She's just a black troll who comes out of the crevices of the uh, underground to troll black men whenever they say something intelligent. And like so many contemporary black women, she thinks she's way smarter than she is. She's really an idiot, as most of them are. But they think <laughs> I don't know why, but they think they're so smart. They say a few things. Straw man arguments, generally, they'll put something up that has nothing to do with the exchange that is taking place, and then they'll make their points and pat themselves on the back, and it's as if uh, no one was really there in the first place. I mean, they're just talking to themselves. They're idiots. Anyway, so this Black Power guy, and his name is really just oxymoron because he's defending the very thing that is preventing Black Power from taking place. He's saying that the black woman is a victim and the black man is supposed to protect her, right? So let's just deal with that whole protection thing. So let's see here. Uh, there's 40 million black people, 18 million black men, and there's what, 180 million white men, 120 million white men, whatever, and, and we're, we're supposed to be exactly on par with them without the black woman playing a role. She's supposed to be able to sit back on the sidelines and we're supposed to not only move the ball forward but carry her ass across the finish line that's idiotic it's not possible and i don't know why these guys think such stupid things it's because the women tell them that we're supposed to do that and they say well the koreans do it and the chinese do it and the every no they don't do it because nobody's on their ass like they're on our ass okay now a lot of you don't get that piece see if you're an Israelite you understand exactly why they're on our black asses okay but if you want to deny your Israelite heritage then you're always perplexed why do they hate us <laughs> you need to get over that they hate us because of who we are and we're unique relative to everybody else on the planet and they fear our rise means their imminent fall and that is why they hate us but you don't have to accept that you can just remain ignorant and perplexed and wonder why why do they hate us? You know, if you buy into the narrative that the Bible is the history of the black American, there's a lot of wisdom there. It tells you specifically that the black woman has always been a reprobate. She has always aligned herself with our enemies. She has always strayed away from our God and has gone to the enemy and worship their God and has tried to drag us along for the ride. She has always enjoyed having whoredom with our enemies, always. And we have been warned. And if you even go back to the story of Adam and Eve, Eve didn't eat an apple. She fucked the devil, okay? She committed adultery. And Adam was a simp. He accepted it. And the Most High threw him out of the garden 
because of her sins, but more importantly, because of Adam's weakness. Do you get it? These stories, what do you think? They're fairy tales? They're not. They're valuable lessons to tell you who you are and where you've gone wrong throughout your history. And yet we ignore it and say it's a fairy tale. And I want to believe in Jesus. <sighs> the Most High ain't Jesus. The Most High is not the God of love for idiots and fools. He doesn't like idiots and he doesn't like fools. He likes obedient people who are willing to do what little he asks in return for what greatness he is willing to give. That is the story of our people. We are the people throughout our history who have either been really, really good or really, really ratchet. Right now, we are in the middle of a world star hip-hop ratchet period. We need to get over it. But I digress. I didn't mean to get off on this rant. I just meant to talk really about white knighting and simpery and how destructive it is and how those who white knight and function as simps think they're actually helping our race. But they're not. And I don't understand why they fail to see that they're not. I, 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 you know what, I'm going to retract that statement. I know why they, why they do it. They, they get butt hurt. They can't deal with the reality. They can't deal with the fact that the black woman, on her own, got on her knees and sucked the master's cock. That just blows them away. They can't, they, that's, her, that's their, their idol. And they can't, they can't conceive that their idol would get down on her knees and pleasure his blood enemy but she does gladly enjoys it and has been doing it for over 400 years and 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 that's what they can't deal with they're not man enough to understand that these women are not on the same side with them and they think that that somehow diminishes from their manhood that she would be willing to do something like that but that's not the case at all, brother. We were outgunned, we were outmanned, and we were conquered. And we were conquered because we were simps. We were letting our women guide our policies. Look, there's a story about Pocahontas. See, I don't know if Pocahontas was a mongoloid Indian or a Negroid Indian. I don't know. But the story tells me that she was probably a Negro. Indian okay and for those of you who don't know the so-called Indians were either mongoloid or negroid but the story of Pocahontas is a story about betrayal and simpery Pocahontas saved John Smith the other men in the tribe wanted to kill John Smith. Pocahontas' father, the chief, was a simp. And whatever his daughter wanted, she got. She wanted him alive, John Smith. So John Smith lived. He lived long enough to help solidify the settlement that he lived in. And they went on to slay and conquer the native Indians. But Pocahontas lived happily ever after. The white people tell that story because it's hilarious to them. To them, that's the story of white cock conquering the native people. The native people, they don't even get the message. The message is that the woman, Pocahontas, betrayed her people, put her happiness above her people's survival. And her father was a simp. And he did what was good for her at the expense of his people. Don't you get it? I hope you do. Because that's the story. Like I said, I'm all over the place and you can tell by my tone I'm a little bit pissed off. 
Anyway, I don't want to go in circles, so I'm going to end this video. I'm going to thank you all for listening to me. Um, your comments are very therapeutic when I feel like this, and I haven't felt like this in a long time, but I'm there now. And it's probably good because it's allowing me to get some thoughts out. For those of you who aren't accustomed to the profanity, I apologize, but I feel like it's absolutely necessary to get the point across. So I'll probably use it a few more times and then I'll go back to my uh, clean cut uh, broadcast. But in the meantime, watch out. Take care, brothers. Shalom. Love you all.